Welcome back to A-Level Geography Explained. In this video, we'll break down the 2011 Japan earthquake and tsunami, a major tectonic hazard case study. We'll cover the location, tectonic setting, hazards, impacts, and management strategies that followed. Let's get started. Japan is located in East Asia, along the tectonically active Pacific Ring of Fire. On March 11, 2011, a powerful earthquake struck off the east coast of Honshu, near the city of Sendai in the Thoku region. The epicenter was around 70 kilometers offshore, and the worst affected areas were low-lying coastal communities along Japan's northeastern shoreline. Over 400 kilometers of coastline was impacted. Japan sits on a highly active tectonic boundary, where four major plates meet. This particular earthquake occurred at a destructive plate boundary, where the Pacific plate is subducting beneath the North American plate along the Japan Trench. Over time, immense pressure built up as the two plates became locked. On March 11, this pressure was suddenly released in a magnitude 9.0 megathrust earthquake, the most powerful ever recorded in Japan. The primary hazard was intense ground shaking, which lasted for around six minutes and caused widespread damage. Buildings collapsed, transport routes were severed, and essential infrastructure was disrupted. However, the secondary hazard, the tsunami, proved even more devastating. The sudden uplift of the seafloor displaced vast volumes of seawater, generating tsunami waves over 40 meters high in some locations. These waves struck the coastline within 30 minutes of the quake and traveled up to 10 kilometers inland, overwhelming sea defenses and inundating towns and farmland. A tertiary hazard emerged when the tsunami disabled cooling systems at the Fukushima nuclear power plant. This led to a catastrophic radiation leak, classified as a level 7 nuclear disaster, the highest level on the international scale. The disaster resulted in the deaths of over 15,000 people, with around 2,500 still listed as missing. More than 300,000 individuals were displaced from their homes, many forced to live in temporary shelters. Essential services were severely affected, over 4.4 million households lost electricity, and 1.5 million were left without clean water. The estimated economic losses exceeded $235 billion, making this the costliest natural disaster in recorded history. Major industries, such as car manufacturing and electronics, were disrupted, with companies like Toyota halting production. The shutdown of nuclear power facilities led to energy shortages and increased reliance on costly fossil fuel imports. Approximately 25 million tons of debris were scattered along the coastline and into the Pacific Ocean. Farmland was polluted by saltwater and radioactive material, severely affecting agriculture. Long-term environmental monitoring was required in and around Fukushima, with exclusion zones remaining in place years after the event. Over 100,000 Japanese troops were immediately deployed to support search and rescue operations. Emergency shelters were established for displaced populations, and international assistance arrived quickly from countries including the UK, USA, and China. A 20 km evacuation zone was declared around the Fukushima plant, and a national nuclear emergency was declared. The Japanese government allocated over $300 billion for reconstruction and recovery. Sea walls were rebuilt to higher standards, and new coastal flood defenses were introduced. A new tsunami early warning system was also developed to issue faster, more accurate alerts using automated messaging systems. All nuclear plants were temporarily shut down and reviewed for safety, leading to stricter regulations across the sector. Finally, long-term community support initiatives were launched, including mental health services and rebuilding efforts in affected towns. Thanks for watching. If this case study helped with your revision, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also check out my other tectonic hazard videos for more content. Goodbye.